Hey everybody, Andrew Hogue here, your security, privacy, and forensics expert. Today I'm gonna to give you a quick tip on how to deal with the unauthorized error message you might get when you're trying to pull an image from a GitHub container registry. GitHub offers a number of different package registries, including Docker and NPM packages, which is really helpful to be able to push your content to those registries and then pull them down into your workflow. But sometimes everything is working and then it stops. And I've run into that a number of times, and so I finally have documented the steps that I take to fix it, and I want to share that with you. So let's dive right in. You can follow along on my personal website, Don't Panic. Just go out to andrewhogue.com, click on blog, and then you can see this blog here about authorizing GitHub Container Registry. Now, if you run into an issue, it'll look something like this. You'll do a Docker Compose pull, and you'll get the unauthorized, or a Docker pull, and again, you'll see the unauthorized. And GitHub has some really great documentation. So you can read up about their support for packages, and you can read in particular about support for container registry. Here I've linked directly to the part about the personal access tokens. And they don't actually support their new fine grain tokens yet. So you actually do have to create a personal access token. And that gets us into a little bit of a problem where if you create it from the user interface, it'll automatically grant repo access, which is more than you need to give. And so there's a workaround where you can actually just specify a URL and you put your scope in there of write packages or alternatively read packages. So what it looks like for me right now is I've got this website inside a Docker container and you can see I've made the different pushes over time and I can just pull them directly from here. But again, sometimes I'll hit that error message of unauthorized. To recreate that token or to create it in the first place, you can just go ahead and follow the link that I have here, generate a token with write package permission only. And it'll come out to the UI, and then it's going to automatically populate that permission without the repo permission. Now, you could also just do read permission only, so we could uncheck that and then do a read permission. And that's great if you don't need to actually write to the container registry, and you're just pulling packages or Docker containers from there. Now, if I want to come back and add write, you're going to see the issue with the UI, where anytime you click write, it'll automatically re-add repo access. So I'm just going to hit refresh on this URL. I'm back to my write package only, and I'll do this as a test token real quick. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna set a custom expiration of one day so that this is not live and access to my repo. And I'll just scroll to the bottom and I'll generate a token. So it looks like I already created that token earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a two to it and generate the token. Okay, now you'll come out here and you'll see that you've got a token. And you'll need to copy that because once you navigate away from this screen or refresh it, you won't be able to access it again. Before I do that, I'm just going to take you over here real quick and show you what it looks like if I SSH into a machine and try to do a Docker pull. So I have a little test directory set up. And in here, you'll see that I've got a Docker Compose. And that Docker Compose is really simple. It's just coming out and pulling an image from uh, the GitHub container registry and then giving it a container name. So if you want to see the error message live, I'll just do a docker compose pull. And you'll see here again that you get this error message of unauthorized. Kind of similar to that, again, if you're not using docker compose, if you're just doing a docker pull on that, you'll get the same kind of error message. So what do we do about that? First of all, let me clear my screen here. Come back over here and you'll see that we're just going to go ahead and export the token. We're going to then echo that into the Docker login command, and then we'll try to pull it again. Now, one of the things you may notice here is there's a space, and that's actually quite intentional. What I want to make sure is that I don't keep this in my shell history, and somebody could abuse that. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and copy this token. And then let's come over here, hit the space, create this environment variable, and then just paste it in there. So the next thing that we'll want to do is then go ahead and echo that particular variable into the Docker login command for a particular username and say, look, accept the password from standard in. And then you can see here you get this warning because the Docker engine is actually going to store that password in a unencrypted format inside the config.json. And so now we can come back and let's go ahead and try to do our Docker compose pull again and see what happens. Okay, so it's actually downloading that, and we can see that that was successful. So if you want to see that with a Docker pull, just to see what that looks like, let's do Docker pull, and let's go ahead and change this to 115. And now you get a little bit more information, and you can see how all of these different layers were pulled and downloaded to the local machine. So that's really it. It's pretty simple. 
create a token, kind of securely log into Docker from your command line, not storing any of those sensitive variables in your command line history. And you should be good to go to then pull down your Docker images. I hope you found that helpful and thanks so much for watching.